Hello everyone, Darren from Venison Headquarters, that's at venisonhq.com, your information resource for all things venison. Today we have a story from Minnesota about uh, tainted venison with E. coli that has caused foodborne illness to 29 students. Um, e. coli in venison sicken students in Minnesota high school. Click this link for the full story or visit our website venisonhq.com for more information about this story. So this uh, E. coli outbreak in venison could have been prevented with proper field dressing and meat processing techniques. Um, news has just released that epidemiologists have confirmed an outbreak of E. coli in venison that has been linked to a Minnesota high school project from 2010. In this incident, Reports say that 29 students had been affected with the foodborne illness after eating venison on school grounds that had been tainted with E. coli. In this case, it is said that the cause of the outbreak came from improper hand hygiene as well as not cooking the meat thoroughly enough to high enough temperature. Be sure to protect your friends and family from foodborne illness such as this by following our guides on proper meat processing and field dressing techniques available at venisonhq.com. The thing is, outbreaks of E. coli in venison and other meats are not uncommon. As many people are unaware of the risks E. coli pose not only on deer meat, but on other types of meat as well. What many people don't know is that outbreaks such as this can be prevented fairly easily using a few simple venison cooking tips. Read more about E. coli in venison in our Bacteria and Venison section at venisonhq.com or by clicking the link below this video for more information. Again, this story is on the E. coli outbreak that sickened 29 students in a Minnesota high school. You can again click below for the full story at our website, venisonhq.com. Again, this is Darren from Venison Headquarters at venisonhq.com, your information resource for all things venison.